Editing videos can be a tedious grind, hours spent clicking, cutting, dragging, tweaking, and repeating. After 10 years editing with Premiere, I thought I'd hit peak efficiency, until now. Today I'm testing something that could genuinely speed up my editing forever. The question is, does it actually work? Hey, I'm Kyle Coronado, and I've been editing professionally for over a decade, mostly in Adobe Premiere Pro. Wow! Like many of you, I started making goofy home movies with my siblings on tape camera. I studied digital media in college and since then I've edited everything from marketing campaigns to documentaries. Editing has always been the slowest, most time consuming part of the video creation process. But what if there was a tool that made it feel faster? That's why I'm testing out the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. I really want to see if this device stacks up to its name, but I've always wanted to learn DaVinci Resolve and this tool gave me the perfect excuse. Buying the speed editor gets you Resolve Studio with it and I figured what better time to see if I can improve my workflow. Now let's break down what the speed editor actually does because at first glance it just looks like a mini keyboard, but it's so much more than that. Front and center is a weighted jog wheel. Shuttle mode accelerates playback, great for skimming an hour long interview in seconds. Jog mode moves one frame per D10, giving me subframe precision for tight dialogue edits. Scroll mode turns the wheel into a smooth timeline scrubber, perfect for repositioning without changing playback speed. The wheel is optical, so no end stops, so you can spin it indefinitely, and resolve always stays perfectly in sync. Just above the scroll wheel, you'll see source and timeline. When I spot the shots I need, I punch in and out. Once a range is marked, I choose how it lands in the timeline. Append, Smart Insert, Ripple Overwrite, or Place on Top. I use Ripple Delete more than any other key on my standard keyboard. Select a clip, hit Ripple. Gap closes instantly, no lasso, no secondary trim. If you cut multicam interviews or live concert, the 8 camera button switches angles while the timeline plays. I do this professionally for corporate multicam shoots. Having it on a $395 panel instead of a $20,000 switcher is wild to me. I do know they make the ATEM ones as well, and I did use it for one shoot. Hit trim in or trim out, roll the wheel, and watch your edits ripple left or right in real time. Need a slipping or rolling trim? Hold shift for the ripple lock, or tap roll to affect both sides of an edit. Because the wheel is continuous, you can nudge one frame or spin through 100 frames without ever changing tools. Individually, these shortcuts feel minor, but together they reprogram your muscle memory. After a few hours, reaching for the mouse starts to feel slow. Blackmagic's micro color panel does for grading what the speed editor does for rough cuts, but that's for another video. This is where everything comes together. My creative rack, 4U editing PC, 2U NAS for media storage, custom networking, and a printer because you never stop needing paper. The speed editor doesn't replace your entire setup, it slides in as a hyper-focused tool. For me, I could see this becoming essential, but not completely necessary. Next up, I'm diving into the micro color panel for grading workflows. If you want to see that video, let me know below. DaVinci Resolve is one of the best color grading platforms for video editing, and I'm also curious to see how this micro color panel can expand creative control in a quick and satisfying way. So should you buy the speed editor? If you're an occasional editor or married to Premiere and don't want to learn something new, this probably isn't for you. But if you're diving into DaVinci Resolve or you edit content frequently, this could seriously change the game. For me, it's earned a permanent spot on my desk. If you want to check out the speed editor, the micro color panel, or any of the other gear in my studio, I've got affiliate links below. It costs you nothing and it helps support the channel. I want to hear from you though. Are you considering switching to DaVinci Resolve? What would speed up your editing workflow the most? Let's talk in the comments. Before I end this video, I want to talk about Dehancer, the plugin I use to effortlessly achieve the filmic look you're seeing in this video. If you're noticing that rich color, soft bloom, and subtle grain inhalation, that's not just a LUT or Resolve preset. That's Dehancer doing what it does best. I've tested a lot of plugins over the year, and Dehancer is genuinely different. It replicates the look and feel of real film stocks whether that be Kodak, Fuji, even Polaroid. By simulating not just color, but the entire chemical process, including halation, bloom, film breath, gate weave, and more. This version of Dehancer is made specifically for DaVinci Resolve Studio. 
which gives you even deeper control than what I used in my Adobe Premiere video. If you're already color grading in Resolve or switching like me, this plugin integrates seamlessly. Check out my other video where I walk through everything Dehancer can do inside Adobe Premiere Pro. What I love most is that Dehancer gives your video a texture, an emotional quality that's really hard to fake with a LUT or a basic node tree. If you want to try it out, Dehancer offers a free trial and if you like it, you can use promo code CORNADO for 10% off at Dehancer.com. You'd be surprised what a little grain and glow can do. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching. More editing tools, studio workflows, and honest reviews coming soon. As I'm sitting here editing this video, one thing I realize is that you cannot even ripple delete the playhead which i use q w and e for so i've kind of developed a system where i've just been using this on the right hand side over here while i do that over here kind of makes it a little more efficient